Hey folks, Country Prepper here. Today I'm going to show you my ammo box truck survival kit. Uh, this is like a redundancy kit for uh, the things that I already keep in my truck, you know, for car emergencies like my jumper cables, you know, fixed flat, things like that. Um, it's also supplemental to my get home bag. My get home bag is set up mostly for uh, uh, to kind of blend in and evade uh, being noticed so uh, this is something so that if I were to be in some sort of emergency truck breaks down out in the middle of nowhere or uh, you know have an accident something like that uh, this is so that I can signal for rescue and uh, you know be seen so uh, that's what this kit is for so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get it out and uh, show you what all I got okay to start off with this is just a, uh, a cheap Plano uh, ammo box you can get them at Walmart for like five bucks uh, it does have a nice latch on it and a rubber gasket in the lid first thing I have a uh, Aquamira Frontier emergency filter straw uh, this is a carbon filter straw so uh, it does you know filter out element uh, chemicals things like that so uh, this is more like a uh, you know two or three use and toss it kind of filter they're only about 10 bucks, so uh, it's a good filter for uh, kits like this. Uh, next, I have, uh, this is made by Mora, it's the Baco. Uh, it's basically, I think, just like the Mora Companion. High vis orange, so I don't lose it. Uh, in the last video where I mentioned these, these are the survival tabs that I talked about. Uh, I think it's a good uh, type of food for extra nutrition to keep in your... Uh, survival kits or bug out bags things like that uh, next for a little extra calories and uh, something to kind of fill your belly up a little more than these would do uh, I chose the uh, UST emergency food rations and uh, mainly because these have a lot more vitamins and uh, things like that than the uh, SOS uh, emergency rations also have 50 feet of 550 paracord I have 30 feet of jute twine. Got four wet fires in here. Uh, just in case I were in an accident and uh, got, was injured or something like that, uh, you can start this, start a fire with this with one hand. I uh, can't think of the name of it. I think it's a Sparky or something like that. It's made by UST. Uh, really inexpensive, uh, good little fire starter for a kit like this. Next, I uh, have a energy shot I have a small power bank I have two of these I kind of switch them out about once a month I'll charge one and uh, stick it in here and then and, and you know next month I'll uh, pull this one out put the other one in and, and charge this one back up so that's just in case something happens to the battery in my pickup and I won't be able to uh, recharge my phone uh, with the uh, you know power cord in my pickup uh, next I have the, this is made by Orion, uh, it's a signal flare and it'll also start a fire. Uh, I'm actually planning on doing a review on these because these are a really awesome multi-purpose item. Uh, you guys have heard me say that I hate matches, <laughs> I think they're useless. Not these. Uh, the UCO storm matches and the Titan storm matches I think are the only matches worth buying. Uh, these are an excellent, excellent, uh, you know, fire starting source for your uh, survival kits so uh, another thing I have in here this is kind of a, a knockoff of a Victorinox but it's actually a pretty decent uh, multi-tool uh, it has quite a few different things in it including a pick and tweezers and scissors and a couple different blades of saw screwdrivers all that good stuff so and then last but not least uh, this is the UST base all-weather tarp uh, high visibility orange so I can use it for signaling and uh, you know it's good cover or a good uh, uh, ground cloth if I need it so that's everything that's in here uh, you guys might be wondering why I don't have any water in here uh, I carry two or three bottles of water under my console at all times so that's why that's not in here
All right, so like I said, this is supplemental to the other things that I already carry in my truck. Uh, I might show you guys uh, the other stuff one of these days. Uh, it's just pretty basic stuff, but uh, I also add things. I have a duffel bag full of uh, things that I throw in in the winter time, and uh, you know, might do a video on that someday too. So, <laughs> uh, like I said, this is just supplemental to my get home bag and the things that I already keep in my truck. Uh, you might have noticed that there's not a flashlight in there. That's because there's one in the console, there's one on my keys, and there's one in my pocket. So, uh, and there's one in the get home bag. So I think that's plenty of flashlights. So, uh, you know, it, it might not hurt to throw one of those cheap $1 flashlights in here, uh, just in case. It's not like I don't have plenty of them. So, uh, uh, if you can think of anything else major that I'm missing, uh, let me know in the comments section below. Otherwise, uh, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.